Hi everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I want to start talking a little bit about the trends that I've noticed coming up for 2019. So I first started noticing when I started using the MAC Face and Body. It seems to be a trend that foundations are starting to be sheer and slightly luminous. If you look at your favorite beauty guru six months ago, they looked like porcelain doll. That was the trend and now it's starting to be, you know, if your skin is not perfect, if you have some blemishes, if you have, you know, your skin is not perfect. You're, we're human beings. It seems to be the trend now that that's more acceptable. So, and because I love the MAC Face and Body so much, I love the formula and the look, it just made sense that I try MAC Face and Body in my shade. And I realized again that this foundation and another foundation, they gave me free samples, I didn't buy them. They were also sheer and slightly luminous and they didn't leave you with a perfected look. And then the next thing, I was watching Samantha Ravindahl saying that her favorite product of 2018 was the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. And then I realized that this is another this is a very complicated thing to explain. It's not a foundation, it's not a highlighter. It's, it's a product that you can use. It's like an ingredient in a recipe. You make it what you want it to be. You can add it to foundation, you can wear it alone, you can wear it on your high points, you can blend it, you can, you can do whatever you want. But the bottom line for all these products or dupes for all these products is that they're all sheer and slightly glowy. And I really think that's the trend and the porcelain perfect skin look is no longer the trend. So then that leads you to another problem. If you're wearing a sheer foundation, a sheer look on your face, you're not gonna wear a heavy concealer to go with that. Then you need a sheer concealer to go with the sheer foundation. This is Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. You can wear it, again, on its own. You can wear it as a highlighter. You can wear it, you can blend it. You can put it under your foundation. You can blend it into your foundation. So what's the difference between this and this? This is more of a foundation type of thing that melts into your skin and it has more of a concealer color where this is more of a champagne. So again, it's like you're being given a bunch of ingredients and you're gonna create the look that you want every day. And I, I, as, I know that's when I say it out loud, because I do it without thinking, but when I say it out loud like this, it seems insane. You're gonna sit at your, your, you know, wherever you put your makeup on in the morning before work, you have to get out the door and you're gonna say, uh, do I need to blend my, um, my matte foundation with a little bit of shimmer, shimmer? Do I want a bit of glow? You know, it, but after a while you do it automatically. So now there's another problem. If you're going to wear a sheer natural, and it doesn't have to be an expensive brand, it could be from the drugstore. If you're gonna wear a sheer and slightly glowy foundation, now you need a different primer. And if that isn't complicated enough, there's one more thing we have to think about. So that means we have to adjust our finishing spray too. If I finish and I find my look turned out too luminous, I will spray with a matte finishing spray. And if I find it looks too matte, I'll use a more dewy finishing spray. So as ridiculously complicated as, as I just made this sound, I think the bottom line is this is a good thing because we're human beings. We're not porcelain dolls. We're not perfect. We have blemishes. We have wrinkles. We have, you know, sunspots. And I think the trend that it's going towards a more natural, we, we're allowed to look like human beings. And I think that's really a good thing. We have so much pressure being put on us to look a certain way and and we as YouTubers are part of that problem because we're contributing to it. We're causing the problem and we are victims of the same problem. You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay. But I think the most important thing about makeup is you have to wear what you like. There are no rules what works for you. You, you do it. If you feel good, that's what you should do. And I wonder how all of this looks in the eyes of a three-year-old girl, a five-year-old girl, a 10-year-old girl, a 15-year-old girl, as they're coming up in a world where appearance is just more important than ever. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.